What is the RPL token from Rocket Pool? What does it do? Who needs it? Do you need to buy it to be able to stake? Well, all these questions will be answered in today's video. Now, before I start with the video, it's very important to understand that this is definitely not financial advice. I'm not suggesting that this is going to be the next gem that reaches the moon that's going to make you rich overnight. I just want to share with you this interesting token from the Rocket Pool because I think the project is fantastic. And if you're interested in staking, if you're interested in maybe offering staking services on the Rocket Pool, then you'll find this video valuable as you definitely need the Rocket Pool token to be able to do that. My name is Kieran. I create decentralized finance videos to make sure that you are ready for the next bull run. And for full transparency, before I start with the video, I do own a few RPL tokens so that you're aware of that. Now let's get started with what, what exactly is Rocket Pool? I'll give you a high level overview of what this project is. I did make another video about Rocket Pool, but this is just going to be a very short summary. Now Rocket Pool is one of the main uh, services that allows Ethereum proof of stake infrastructure service. In other words, that will allow people to either stake their Ethereum on the new Ethereum 2.0 blockchain as soon as the Beacon chain launches. It will also allow businesses and people to offer staking service so they can host their own nodes and they can charge a fee to other people who want to stake. And I think this is fantastic because it allows people to start staking without all the complicated aspect of installing validated clients, using terminals and all the, the complex technical jargon. And they can just focus on getting a very good return on investment on their ether. So yeah, like I just said, individuals and businesses who want to earn interest on the ether over a fixed period of time can use the Rockets Pool decentralized network of node operators to participate in staking. So the RPL token is one of the tokens that the Rocket Pool project have created. So who needs RPL protocol token? Now a node operator who wants to have his own node on a node operator who wants to offer staking services on the Rocket Pool protocol has to one provide ETH and also buy some RPL token. Now how much RPL token is necessary? is defined by the ETH RPL ratio. So in, in addition to depositing ETH, a node operator is required to deposit a set amount of RPL per ether they are depositing. And that's when the, the utility of RPL comes into play. And the, R, the, the Rocket Pool protocol token is used to maintain the a good capacity, a stable capacity of node operators on the network. And this is done by either increasing the capacity when needed. So let's say you only have a few node operators on the network and you need a lot more, then the RPL ETH ratio is going to be a lot lower and the capacity can be decreased by increasing this RPL ETH ratio. So for example, if there's a lot of nodes on the, on the network, this RPL ETH ratio can go maybe up to 20 RPL per ETH. So when the RPL ETH ratio is a lot higher, like maybe 20 RPL per ETH, that will mean to become a node operator, it's going to be a lot more expensive because you will have to buy a lot more RPL tokens per ETH that you're willing to stake. Here's an example. If there's a high network usage on the Rocket Pool network, then the RPL ETH then the RPL ETH ratio might be 30 RPL for one ETH. And if there's low network usage, the RPL ETH ratio might be one RPL to one ETH. And this is to encourage people to either enter the network as a node operator or to discourage people from entering the network to become a node operator. So this is very important. So like I mentioned, only node operators need to have RPL. If you just want to stake ETH, like you can just join the Rocket Pool staking pool with a minimum of one ETH, then you do not have to buy any. Only node operators are required to buy RPL tokens since they have to buy a certain amount of RPL for each ETH that they are locking up in their node. And 
I think it's in, important to know that if you are a node operator or you, you're wanting to offer this staking, if you're staking as a business to your customers, you can charge fees. So that means there's a, there's a monetary incentive for businesses to start using a node operator on the rocket pool staking pool and offer this service to their clients. So the tokenomics are also very interesting. The total supply of rocket pool tokens is around 18 million. The, price, the current price is $2.40 and it, the fully diluted market cap is 43 million. But you have to be aware that the, there has been a massive price increase uh, recently. I think around four or five weeks ago, the price was around 60 cents and now it's around $2.40. So just be aware of that, that the, the, there has been a massive price increase and it is possible that the price goes down a lot further. Now, how to, now if you're interested in buying some RPL tokens because you want to become a node operator and you might have the question, how do I actually buy some RPL tokens? It's not available on Binance, it's not available on, on, on big centralized exchanges, but you can buy it on a liquidity pool. You can buy it on Uniswap. Uniswap is very easy to use. And you can also use it on one, you can also buy it on one inch dot exchange, but one inch dot exchange is a decentralized exchange aggregator. So basically it's using the liquidity from Uniswap. So basically you can just go ahead and buy it on Uniswap. And Uniswap is very easy to use. I've made a few videos on Uniswap. What you need is a Ethereum wallet and you will have to be able to co connect to the Uniswap website. You can connect to Uniswap with many different options. You have the very popular MetaMask wallet, Wallet Connect, which is available on the Trust wallet, a mobile wallet. You've got Coinbase wallet, Fortmatic, Portis, and Toro. So you've got many different options to connect to the Uniswap wallet. Now, I guess you would first buy ETH, and then you can say how much ETH you would like to use in this trade. And then the output, you can select a token. And here you can actually um, look for RPL rocket pool token. And it will say for one ETH, you will get 80 point something RPL tokens. And then um, if you're connected, you can actually um, perform this uh, trade. Okay, so I wanna show you how you can buy RPL rocket pool tokens on the one inch dot exchange decentralized exchange aggregator. And I think this exchange is super because it finds the best exchange rates for many different trading pairs among all the liquidity providers. So here you can see it spread across many decentralized exchanges, multi-split, Mooniswap, Oasis, Kyber, Uniswap, um, Balancer, Banker, Xerix, Relay, so a lot. And it finds the best exchange rate for different trading pairs. Now you can click on connect wallet on the top right hand side of your screen. And you've got many different options to use one inch dot exchange. So you can use MetaMask and um, the Trust Wallet app. I've made a lot of videos about the Trust Wallet app. You can use Toros, Formatic, Wallet Link, Podis, Ethereum, Wallet Connect, um, Bitsky and Ledger. Now, since I'm opening this from a browser, I'm not going to use the Trust Wallet app, but Trust Wallet also supports Wallet Connect. So I click on Wallet Connect and I get a QR code. In my Trust Wallet, I can click on Wallet Connect and open up the QR code scanner. And that will allow me to connect to the one inch dot exchange. As you can see, my wallet has been accepted and I'm logged in uh, very easy. Now on the left hand side, you can change the on the left hand side you, with this drop down, you can change the cryptocurrency. On the left hand side, you can change the cryptocurrency that you'd like to use to buy the RPA token. You can use ETH if you've got ETH. So in my case, I've got SUSD. So I'm going to type in SUSD or I can see it here. Synthetic USD, it's the Synthetics platform stablecoin. And I've got um, 300 US dollars. So I would like to withdraw or buy. I'd like to buy 300 US dollars worth of RPL on the right hand side. I can also click on the drop down and now type in RPL. And I can see here's the RPL. You can see here's the RPL token. I selected it. And now I have to wait a little bit. I can maybe click on the interface and it will refresh how many. 
and it will refresh the exchange rate and display the amount of RPL tokens that I would get. So for 300 US dollars, I would get about 150 RPL tokens, which is valued at 297 dollars. So there's a little bit of a slippage happening because it's not that much liquidity available. The RPL token is not available on major exchanges. So I'm happy with this exchange rate. I will click on unlock 300 SUSD. Now, depending on what kind of um, stable coin you're using, you might have to unlock it as well. So I will click on um, unlock. You can also do infinity unlock, but I prefer using just a normal unlock. And this will send uh, the information to the smart contract to unlock my SUSD stablecoin. So I've got auto approve enabled on the trust wallet. Okay, so my SUSD has been unlocked. I can click on swap now. Now, if you look down here, you see which exchanges it's taken it from and the fees that you'd have to pay, but we're gonna be using the one inch exchange. All of the tokens are coming from Uniswap. The max price slippage is 1% and the pr gas price is 40 gray. Now let's click on swap now. I can verify the swap and I'm making sure that I've got the right token on the left selected and I'm getting RPL. I also make sure that the exchange rate uh, is good. I see the price slippage is 0.93% and the gas limit estimated uh, real gas cost is around $1.74, but it's possible that it's a little bit lower than that. Uh, I can click on verify and this will um, swap these two tokens. So the swap transaction was sent. I can click on the Etherscan link and I can see the transaction in process on Etherscan. This might take a few seconds or a few minutes. So here we're on the Etherscan link and you can see the tokens that were transferred. The one inch to exchange, one inch to exchange decentralized application took my synth USD, sent it to Uniswap. And then from Uniswap, I got the RPL token. The RPL token was sent to one inch to exchange and one inch to exchange sent these RPL tokens to my wallet. So I think this is fantastic how easy this works. That was today's video. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. It helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, with that said, I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.